Hello everyone and welcome back to the Redux Toolkit introduction series. In this video we're gonna set up the Redux store but with a function that is provided by the Redux Toolkit library. So first thing we're gonna do is install our npm packages. So we have to install Redux, React Redux and the toolkit from Redux.js. I've gone ahead and installed these before the recording just so we don't have to wait. Install them and then go on with the video. So we're gonna create a store folder in which we're gonna create a store.js file. Uh, in this file we're gonna import configure store from the Redux Toolkit library. If you remember from the React Redux library, it was create store, but configure store is a wrapper around the configure store along with some other things. So we're gonna configure store and this needs just one parameter as mandatory. That is a reducer, which is gonna be an object similar to the one that was passed to the combined reducers in the normal way you set up Redux. And we're gonna export default the store. Now for this to work, I'm, for the moment I'm gonna leave it like this because we don't have any reducers created, but I'll show you what happens if we just create the store like this. So let's go into index.js and here we're gonna import the store from our store folder and import the provider from React Redux. Then we're gonna wrap our app with the store and move this down. Okay, let's look at our app now. Nothing, no error here, so that means something worked. And if we go to the Redux dev tools, you can see we actually have access to the Redux dev tools, but we didn't add any, any dev tools to our store. Well, that's because Redux toolkit handles the dev tools by default, so it def by default adds them to, to your store. If you want to remove them, you can, but we'll see that in a later video. For the moment, we have just configured our store. We don't have any reducers yet. And if we go into our app and look in the console, we see here that we have an error. The store does not have a valid reducer. Make sure the argument passed to the combined reducer is an object whose values are reducers. Okay, so we have an error here. We're gonna fix that in a later video, but for the moment, let's just create a dummy reducer, sir, just so you can see that it actually works. So we're gonna create a reducer in the normal way you would create a reducer in Redux. We're gonna export default a function that's gonna have a state, we're gonna make it an object and it's gonna have an action. Here we're gonna switch the action dot type and by default we're gonna return the state. So a reducer with no case up until now. We're not gonna worry too much about it just so we can see that it works. Let's import our dummy reducer from the dummy reducer and pass it on to our store. Now if we go back and refresh, we see that that error disappeared. We just have some, some error here about this table, but we're not going to worry about that now. And if we go to the Redux dev tools and check the state, see here we can have the state with the, with the dummy state and an empty object as that state. Okay, great, so that works. 
In the next video, we're gonna look at actions and action creators. Thank you all for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.